Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Sean. <clears throat> so, I wanted to make this video, um, cause I'm sure like the rest of you, you keep seeing these advertisements on for this Bearskin Tactical Hoodie 2.0. Um, yeah, looks cool. <clears throat> looks cool. Um, thought I'd make this video mainly just because um, I'm tired of seeing reviews and videos of guys who live like in Florida or California testing this thing out. Um, nice weather, sunny outside. And so I was wondering to myself, oof, does this thing actually do what they say? Um, so here's what I'll tell you. Uh, got mine yesterday. I uh, went ahead and spent the $100 because I needed a new hoodie. My last hoodie was an Under Armour hoodie. Zipper broke. Um, probably had that thing three years. And really, I only use it as a uh, indoor, kind of throw my hoodie on, zip it up, because my wife likes to keep the house super cold. Um, but, oh, I was a little bit skeptical. Obviously, when things are advertised well, I, I just get really skeptical about them. Um, but I got to say, this thing delivers. Um, and it, it delivers a lot more than I thought it was going to. Uh, so... Let's let's talk about this thing. Um, so I bought it a size big. I like my stuff a little bit baggy. I like a little room, I would say, in there. You know, right now I'm just wearing a t-shirt underneath. Um, but you never know. You know, if you're gonna go out and it's cold, uh, go ahead and you th throw like a big sweater on or something. Uh, I wanted a little bit more room so it wasn't so form-fitting. Um, but I gotta say, even even going up a little bit on the size, getting a large instead of a medium, which is what I normally wear, um, it really it fits well. It really does. A um, few of the things I'll, I'll talk right off the bat, like when you feel it, the material is thick. Um, I've heard a couple of guys talk about the fleece weight, and I'm just like, I don't even know what he's talking about. But when you put this thing on, you feel the difference, right? This isn't a fleece that you buy at Walmart. <clears throat> uh, the construction... The sewing, everything is actually <clears throat> pretty up to snuff. Um, it feels tough. Now, I'm not going to wear this out working if I'm outside doing something because I'm, I'm sure uh, this will probably get really dirty and it'll be hard to wash out. Or yeah, you might snag it on something and, and, and tear it uh, if you're working with some sort of you know equipment outside. But that's not what I got it for. I got it for just to keep warm. And uh, yeah, I would say, you know, up here in sunny Idaho, I can't know if you see out the back window, but we got about two inches of snow. It's snowing this morning, 17 degrees. And uh, yeah, see, it's all I need. Um, that really, to me, is just what makes this hoodie special. 17 degrees outside and in the snow. Um, I got a t-shirt on, and this is the only jacket I need. Um, some of my other thoughts about it, right? I love the pockets, okay? Being a military guy myself, um, I love the, the arm pockets. Not a huge fan of Velcro. I don't know if I'm going to stick many patches on this thing. Um, I might just to cover up the Velcro, but I, I didn't get it with the purpose of advertising anything. So not a big deal to me that it's got these little velcro patches on the each arm let's see right here but yeah i might throw an american flag on there uh just for some some pride um the one thing i do not like is left side zipper uh i was always kind of brought up under the impression that you know women's clothes have the left side zipper the left side buttons um opposite of men's clothes yeah, it was, it's a little weird to get used to because, you know, I'm used to throwing my right hand down and it may not show in the video because it might be backwards. I don't know how to use phones very well. Um, but, yeah, when you take the zipper down with my right hand, just trying to pull it off, and I'm like, oh, oh, wait, left hand. Um, but not a deal breaker by any means. Um, the zipper is nice. I got to say, this little flap that they keep trying to talk about, I was like, that sounds stupid to me. It really isn't. Um, yeah. I actually like that little flap. Uh, makes it feel good. Uh, let's talk about some of the other things. The adjustments on the jacket, right? Like this little sleeve adjustment, never adjusting it. Sorry. 
you adjust it, and then it folds over on itself. To me, that just gets in the way. But the Velcro is good. If you did want to do that, say worst case scenario, I'm outside for a long time, then yeah, I might I might cinch it down. I don't see a need to. Um, one other thing I'll say, going going a little bit on the size bigger, the hood, it's huge. It's a giant hood. Not mad though. Um, again, I usually just throw a beanie on. I'm just gonna leave the hood back now. Zip it full of way up. Standing out in the snow with the kids at the school, you know, the school bus this morning. A little bit of snow was getting in the back, so I did. Yeah, I threw the hood up. I didn't have to throw it all the way. I don't know about these little cinch things. <sighs> kind of looks silly when you start cinching stuff down, but I'm glad they included it, just give you the option. Because I know this, right? It's not about looks for me, it's about functionality. Um, so if in fact I needed to, sure, I'll cinch it up just to stay a little bit warmer. But no real issues with the hood. It sits back in the back. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, really good. Let's see some of the other things they were really talking about. Uh, controlling your body heat. Um, <clears throat> this is what I will say. My car's been running for a while, obviously, to try to keep the snow from, you know, piling up on the windshield in the back. I'm trying to pick something up at the store. Um, and they told me I had to wait 30 minutes, so I thought I'd make a quick video. Not that it's quick already, but... Yeah, that's the thing. Oh gosh. So I, I go outside in 17 degrees this morning. Wind's blowing a little bit, snow's whipping around. Doesn't even bother me. Feel warm, feel solid. Um, I get inside the store and you think, well, if it's keeping me so warm in 17 degrees, I gotta be honest with you. I walk inside the store, it's warm. I don't even have to take it off. Um, I don't know how it's doing it, but like right now sitting in my car with the heat running on the windshield, uh, don't need to take it off. I don't feel hot. Um, <clears throat> so, interesting thing. Never really owned a piece of clothing that I didn't have to worry about taking on and off, you know, when I went from cold to hot. But <clears throat> I do appreciate that about this, um, this jacket. A couple other things, right? These pockets. This, there's this liner in here that they don't really talk about in all these commercials. It's really smooth, and I don't know what it is. I think it gives it more wind insulation, as they keep saying, the wind insulation technology. Um, and the same thing on the bottom two pockets, they have that liner. Uh, yeah, so I put my hands in my pockets, the wind doesn't come through it, uh, just like they said it would, um, or just like they said it wouldn't, and keeps my hands nice and warm. You notice I'm not wearing any gloves, I don't need to, because like I said, I'm not like throwing snowballs, but, um, one of my concerns was that. Uh, let's see, one of the other things too, okay? They keep hinting at this thing because it's a tactical hoodie, um, which I, I, I do feel like tactical fits. I, I think that word can be used for this hoodie. Now, I'm not doing anything tactical wearing this, I promise you that, but the concealed weapon carry they keep hitting at. I tried it, I did. Um, sat in my room this morning, I was like, let's see. They keep saying maybe you, you can seal a weapon in this thing. And and I'm running a Hellcat. Uh, but no, not concealing it in this, this hoodie. Maybe it's the size. And I thought that to myself too. Maybe because I got it a little bit larger. Um, it, it doesn't sit close and tight up against my body. But I don't like wearing clothes like that. <clears throat> so I tried all the pockets. Right. And, and we're talking a, a Hellcat. It's It's small. Right, fully loaded magazine just for the weight. Um, the only pocket I would consider carrying in are the front two. Um, those are the only ones <clears throat> that I feel I have good access to my concealed carry weapon. And uh, I just got to be honest with you, if you put it in one or the other, um, I'm not putting it in the left side, but I put it in that right pocket, I zip it up, fine, it feels secure. But you're not running with it because um, it's going to bounce around. It's not really designed to conceal a weapon. Now, maybe something small like a Derringer, but you can carry that anywhere. Um, but overall, <clears throat> I got to say, this, the quality, um, for, the, for the amount of money that I spent, I feel like I got something more than I was expecting. Um, I was willing to blow 100 bucks on a hoodie that I might only wear a few times. Um, just to try it out in the hope that it would work the way they said it did. Um, but yeah, super surprised at, at how well this thing is built. At, 
gosh, everything about it I like. Um, I sit at home last night and I just lounged around in it. Um, like I said, been outside in the snow today in 17 degrees, standing on the bus stop. <clears throat> and it just, uh, it works. Uh, it's comfortable. The, the material, I thought fleece, you know, I'm not a huge fan of fleece. I kind of more like cotton. Um, but no, man, this thing is, uh, it's the real deal. And like I said, for a hundred bucks, it's worth the money. Um, I would buy another one if I needed to. I just don't think I, I do. Uh, I would definitely give this as a gift to somebody because I think they would appreciate it. And the, again, a few minor things like, yeah, I'm not going to conceal carry in it, but big deal. Uh, got other holsters for that. And uh, the left the left side zipper, that's it. That's the only thing that kind of got me at first. But like I said, I'm, I'm getting used to it now. And uh, I would say this. If, if you look at these these advertisements and you're, you're not sure, well, just uh, wanted to make a video to kind of dispel any of those doubts that you might have. I like this hoodie. Um, it's going to become my go-to. And uh, sorry I don't have better camera equipment, but, you know, I'm not a YouTuber yet, maybe. Anyway, but just to give you an idea, I'm not lying about the cold, so great purchase i would say to the guys that made this this product it's a great product and thank you for that and uh i really hope that this video can help some of those folks out there who might be on the edge uh one way or the other i say go for it um yeah it feels great it really does so kudos to the to the team that designed it the team that 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 builds it it came quick in the mail i'm happy i got it so Enjoy.